Five years ago, I wanted to know what happens to eggshells in the garden. So I did this little experiment. I took some eggshells, put them in some containers with some soil. The containers are there just to protect them so they don't get damaged when I'm working in the garden. It's five years later and I've just dug up the last of these. In this video, I'm gonna show you what happens to eggshells in the garden. I'm not going to show you all the details about how I buried them and how I cleaned these. A year ago, I made a fairly detailed video, and if you wanna see the details of this experiment, I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one. Now, I've washed the soil off the eggshell and cleaned them up a little bit so you can see them a little better. The eggshell is pretty much intact. Now this container had a lot of roots going through it. It's been in the ground for five years under a spruce, so that's not a surprise. And those roots were growing right through the eggshell. That's why it broke up into these pieces. But the eggshell is still intact and it's been five years. This is exactly what science predicts. When science studied what happens to eggshells in the soil, they found that they don't decompose unless your soil is extremely acidic, below 5.5, and you pulverize those eggs into a very fine powder, much finer than what your blender can do. They simply don't decompose. They just sit there. Now, some of you bake the eggshells thinking that improves the process. It doesn't. It's a waste of your time and a waste of electricity. So don't bake your eggshells. Now what do I do with my eggshells? Well, I put them in a compost pile and they end up in the garden. They don't do any harm there. And sometimes the birds will come and find little pieces of eggshell and eat it. It's good for them. So you might ask, well, I put eggshells in the compost pile and in the garden and they disappear. I can't see them. Well, the reason is that these eggshells are quite fragile. And when you work in the garden, and when dewworms are moving around in the garden and so on, they actually damage these and break them up into smaller pieces. But you and I look at these things with macro eyes. We only see big pieces. On a microscopic, atomic level, there's still big pieces sitting there. We just don't see them, so we think it's dissolved. These are adding no nutrients to the garden. I've written a couple of books on garden myths called Garden Myths Book 1 and Book 2. Each one discusses 120 different gardening myths. And if you're interested in those books, click on the little icon of the book. If you want to see more of my videos, I've selected some of my better ones and put links to those. Don't listen to all the nonsense on social media. A lot of the information online is incorrect. Find yourself some good sources of gardening information and follow that. It'll make you a much better gardener. Have fun in the garden.